Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nature's First Nest and I'm back with another video. This is like two videos in a row. I just filmed a video yesterday and now I'm filming another video for y'all. So um, I am trying my best to get videos out for y'all. Even though my storage is full, I still want to try my best to get some videos out for y'all. So I am back with another video. This is going to be my first how-to video. So I'm really excited about this one. This is basically going to be me trying to explain how to make my how to make your reborn doll look as realistic as possible in a car seat. So as you guys can see, I have Mr. Zayden here and he's going to be the baby that I use. Well, him and Callie. Callie is against the wall. Um, them two, these two are going to be the ones that I'm going to use to basically show you guys how to do this. Um, I decided that a closed eyed baby and an open eyed baby would be a good way to kind of show two different point of views when it comes to taking your babies out. Um, Rhythm is obviously too big for a car seat, so she's usually she's usually just in a stroller or she's just sitting up in the buggy or like the basket. So I don't really have her in car seats. So for my smaller babies, I do have them in car seats. Well, actually, he's bigger than Rhythm, but since he's sleeping, he looks more like a baby. Let's just get started. So I do have Zayden here, and I have on this piece of paper some notes that I wrote down just like um ways that you guys can you know make them look realistic I didn't want to forget anything so I decided to jot it all down I know I'm talking really fast I'm so sorry but um yeah so I'm gonna take the blanket off him so you guys can see him so first things first is you want to make sure that your baby is dressed weather appropriate because no one is going to have their baby out in a dress or some shorts when it's cold outside no one's going to do that. So you want to make sure that your baby, that your reborn is dressed in weather appropriate clothes, clothes, I'm sorry, because it's just more realistic that way. And you're not going to get stopped as much because people are not going to think anything of it if you had your baby dressed in the correct clothes, in the correct clothes. So um, it is cold outside, but I do have a jacket for him that I'm not going to put him on because we're not going anywhere. This is just for video purposes. But um, he does have on these stretch mitts and hats. And he also have on some socks. So if I were to take him somewhere, we might not even get stopped. Because he has on, you know, the basic um stuff to keep him warm. So, yeah. That is the first thing. You want to make sure that your baby is dressed in weather appropriate clothes. Oh, I'm sorry. Another thing that you want to make sure is that your baby has props around their car seat. So as you guys can see here, I have this little thing, this little lovey here. I'm sorry, you guys can't really see that. But I have this little lovey here. And the lovey is to basically keep a prop next to him. Um, so that is why the lovey is placed there. It's a, um, It got sent with him. It's like a hooker, a hooker llama, llama thingy. And I just like to snap it onto the car seat so that he has something next to him. And it just adds on the realism when it comes to taking your babies out. Of course, you don't. it does not have to be a snap-on animal to the car seat. I kind of like it better that way, but it does not have to be like that. You can just have him next to widow, like a, you know, like a lovey. Any, anything around them is fine. Another thing that is really important to me personally is to have your baby strapped inside the car seat. Now, this is very important and something to note because you don't, First of all, babies who aren't, real babies who aren't strapped in, people always complain about that, about real babies not being strapped into their car seats. So when you have your doll strapped into a car seat, it is very realistic and no one really does it. You know, no one really straps their babies in. Um, but if you strap your babies in, I can guarantee you that less people are going to think that your doll is a doll because it is strapped in and it shows that you care about your baby and your doll. So no one's going to really stop you. So... As you guys can see, I just um, strapped Zayden in to his car seat. And I absolutely love this because it just makes him look more realistic. And overall, it just one of my favorite things to do is strap the babies in. Another thing you want to do is make sure that your baby is posed in a realistic position. This is very important because you don't want your baby sitting at a certain angle that makes them look unrealistic. You don't want to get stopped 24-7 because your doll looks unrealistic and it's going to cause reactions or whatever. So you want to make sure that your baby is posed in a certain position that's going to make them look as realistic as possible. For instance, Zayden here, he is a sleeper. So I'm going to tilt his head to the side a little bit because babies who sleep, their heads are not straight up like that. Their heads are always tilted to the side. And then I kind of want to like put one arm up. You know, this does not always work with his limbs, but you want to have one arm up when it comes to a sleeping baby. So he looks very realistic in this position, as you guys can see. And I know that he, I'm angled 
quite weirdly, but I'm trying to make sure that I can see him so you guys can get the best view and that you, so you guys can see, um, you get the best results from this video. So like I said, you just want to make sure that they're posed in a correct position. He looks so realistic just in general. It's actually quite scary, but he looks so realistic in general. So I don't have to do too much with him, but you just want to make sure that if you, if you, you know what I'm saying? If you take it all out, you want to make sure they look as realistic as possible. So you put them in different poses and different positions and you want to make sure that they look absolutely adorable and realistic. Uh, another thing about that, keep them looking cute. If you're a doll, it looks dressed nice or whatever. It's going to be harder for people to tell if it's a doll or, or or not because people don't really think that you would care so much about a doll to keep it even dressed up. So try to keep your doll dressed up and try to keep them, you know, dressed to the T or whatever. Um, What's another thing? Blankets. Make sure that you take your baby with a blanket. Um, It's always important. Moms always have their babies with blankets and stuff like that. It's just realistic or more realistic that way. Always keep a blanket with your baby. Um, If you want to even have their legs out at the bottom, because you see how that looks with his legs at the bottom. It looks so adorable and so realistic. You want to keep your dog with a blanket at all times when you're taking them out. It, it just adds so much more realism. And it's just, to me, is way better. Um, you know, you want to have the blankets in any type of way on them. You really can. You know, you want to position a blanket to, like, them holding it and stuff like that. Or them cuddling it. Like, just anything. Really anything. Like, it's just blankets are a must-have when it comes to taking your baby out. So, yeah. And another thing is make sure that your baby fits in the car seat. Like, that's why I would not take Rhythm out in the car seat because I don't think that would be very realistic. I don't want her looking all weird and big and bulky in the car seat. So make sure that your baby can actually fit in a car seat. And let me add this. The car seat can be expired for a reborn doll. Your doll is able to be in an expired car seat. It's not going to affect them in any way, shape, or form. Expired car seats are not meant for real babies. But you can use an expired car seat for your doll i actually prefer that than getting a brand new car seat you can save way more money and you know you some certain things you just can leave to for the real babies as we born moms you don't play but you know some things you can just you can save a lot of money by doing um he is a bigger baby so i don't need like a headrest thing for him but if you do have a car seat with the headrest that is very good um callie i feel like she would need that but this car seat does not have a headrest and i'm not planning on getting one um not right now, at least, until I get a whole new car seat set. But now we are going to actually put Callie in the car seat because it is time for the open-eyed baby edition of the How to Make Your Reborn Look Realistic in a Car Seat. I'm going to sit my girl in the car seat. She looks absolutely adorable, like always. <laughs> so I have her sitting in the car seat, and I'm going to try to pose her as realistic as possible. I always get stopped with Callie because she's so pretty, but her eyes are open, and so it makes her look less realistic. So, um, of course, I get compliments from her, but it's also the fact that her eyes are open, so it takes away from her realism. So, when it comes to open eye babies, you want to try your absolute best to get them to look realistic in a car seat. So, I'm going to buckle her in, and make sure that when you buckle them in, that it, it, it fits, because they didn't just have this... Because Jaden was just buckled up in this car seat, it's really big. Like, the buckle up part is really big. So, we're going to tighten it up so that it can fit Callie. So, I got her buckled in like that. Oh, shoot. My bad, guys. So, I got her buckled in like that. And then, see, she looks scrapped in. And she looks very comfortable. Another lovey. We're going to set that to the side. <laughs> Um, with the open eye baby, you want to keep a passy in their mouth. This is just because if someone sees her mouth like that 24-7, obviously they're going to think that she's a doll. So um, we're going to put a passy in her mouth. Um, I know this one does not match her outfit, but I just needed one for now. You're going to turn her head to the side because it's like she's looking away. Or even um, since she's an open eye baby, you can have like a little jungle bar across, from her, across her car seat. I don't have one for them just yet, but I will probably get one soon. But since I don't have a jungle bar, I'm just going to use this lovey and make it look like that she's looking at this llama lovey. So she looks like she's looking directly at the lovey, if you guys can see. And then I'm just going to put this blanket across her just like this. Or even if you don't really, if you want to take your um, open eye baby out, but you don't want to get so many reactions and you don't want to get so many stops, 
You can even just place the um blanket like across like that. Ooh, I'm sorry, this blanket is really small, so it's not really doing the trick. But you can even just place the blanket across like that. Or if you have a sun thing, you can just bring that across just so you can you don't have to get so much attention um when it comes to your babies. I just like to just sit the blanket on top you don't want the blanket to look too perfect because it is a baby and a baby's blanket is not gonna just be laying across like that like no babies move and stuff so um you want your blanket to kind of look all you know bunched in there and that is how you make an open-eyed baby look realistic in a car seat okay guys so even with the uh, with the closed eye baby pacifiers are also allowed um i feel like open eye baby closed eye babies are just so much more realistic like to take out it's just way easier and yeah you just get less stops but yeah oh i'm so sorry that's so unfortunately i did forget to show this prop this is a bottle um a nice prop to put in the car seat on top of the baby maybe this does add realism because you know babies they drink bottles and you want to have a bottle with them to make them look more realistic and i'm so sorry for not adding that in the first part of the video um, but yeah, but yeah, guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope that it was helpful. I know it was quite short, but I just wanted to get, give it to you guys cut and dry. I don't think it takes too much to make your doll look realistic in the car seat. I really hope these tips help you guys. Like I said before, um, you do not, you don't even really need to apply all of these, all of this stuff when it comes to it. But this is personally what I like to do when I'm taking my dolls out. Um, I'm sorry, guys, <laughs> I'm talking so fast um don't forget to subscribe like and comment request videos down below because I, it's always good to post stuff that you guys really want to see um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe like and comment follow my instagram at nature's first nest and i will see you guys in my next video love you guys so much